Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Barry, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm talking about leptin resistance and weight gain and also insulin resistance. So this whole combination of what's happening when we do have leptin resistance and how that lends itself to weight gain. I have a great visual to show you how this whole cascade happens and how it's related to our blood glucose levels as well. So we know that with insulin resistance, our cells no longer are utilizing that insulin to be able to allow for that proper intake of our glucose into our cells to burn it up and turn it into energy. So this is, of course, one of the premeditating factors of diabetes, but also a part and parcel of metabolic syndrome as well. So what happens with the leptin is that the high leptin actually destroys a protein called amylin. And amylin is something that's secreted in the pancreas by the beta cells of the pancreas. And we know that the beta cells in the pancreas are our cells that make insulin. So now because of that high leptin, the beta cells no longer make the insulin any longer and this is how it's directly related to diabetes and metabolic syndrome. Without enough insulin, we know that that glucose can't get into the cell and now it's not going to be burned up as energy and this is how we have our high blood glucose levels or high blood sugar levels. So the other thing that's interesting about amylin is that it's also a hunger suppressant. So not only does leptin help with our hunger signaling and this is why we can see with leptin resistance we always crave usually the wrong foods it's usually those high you know insulin re required foods those carbohydrates and the sweets and this is why this is all related to this entire syndrome now if we take a look at this picture it really helps to give us the visual as to how this is related to the weight gain so what happens we're eating our food we're enjoying our carbs and of course we're going to gain some of that weight and the more an excess body weight and fat that we have it's our fat cells that actually secrete the leptin and the leptin then can be bound to something called CRP so that's why the highly sensitive CRP as a marker in our blood work would be an indicator of leptin resistance so now that CRP is bound to the leptin and can no longer cross that blood brain barrier. So what happens here is that the hypothalamus is no longer getting that signal of the high leptin in the body, which says, hey, I've got enough body fat, I'm good, I don't need to go get more food. The brain's not getting that signal, so now that's the leptin resistance right there. So I really want to show that to you in this picture format so that you understand from you know the brain's perspective, it's just not getting the signal to say, hey, stop eating. And that's why when we go back to the picture, we can see that because because the hypothalamus isn't getting the signal of that leptin that this is the resistance then we have increased food intake so not only do we crave those carbohydrates and then we also have that increase in blood sugar and this is then lending itself to the insulin resistance and the metabolic syndrome and potentially the diabetes but also there could be other factors here so not only the high blood glucose levels but also if we have some nutrient deficiencies like DHA and magnesium and zinc then that further you know makes this whole syndrome even worse so that's why fixing your leptin resistance is super important it happens you know at the brain level and there are definitely some you know action points that you can take that's what I have in another video on my tips on how to fix your leptin resistance but you know really important to be able to do that so there you have it today I talked about you know this whole syndrome of what's happening with insulin resistance as well as leptin resistance and how it's also related to metabolic syndrome so i hope you learned something new please i want to hear from you in the comments below if you've got some symptoms that you think may be related to leptin resistance and you need some help to point you in the right direction i'd love to hear from you so please put that in the comment section below also if you've got ideas for a future episode or a video i would love to hear from you as well because i listen to you and you know myself and my team we put all of these videos together to answer your questions that's what it's all about so please share this video as well with your friends and family someone that you know will benefit from this information and give me a big thumbs up I appreciate all of those likes if you're new to my channel welcome in I'm Dr. Janine make sure that you are subscribed and you turn on those post notifications by clicking that bell so you always get my newest and latest uploads which happens every single day of the week so and remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching today.